Hello everyone. In last lecture, I taught concept of correlation and types of correlation. Now in this lecture, we will see methods to find correlation and especially we will see a scatter diagram. So methods to find correlation, there are four methods basically first is scatter diagram, second is Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation and then third is Pearsman and then fourth is concurrent deviation method. So today we are focusing on this first scatter diagram. So for this scatter diagram, we have three situations. This first one, this is second and this is third. So as I taught in my previous lecture, if the data is with increasing pattern, then there is positive correlation. If this is with negative, uh, if this is with decreasing pattern, there is negative correlation. Now we will see in this data set. Now suppose we are studying this point. So for this point, location of x is this, location of y is this, suppose y equals to 10 and this x is equal to suppose 2. Now we are taking another point, this point suppose. So for this point, x is equal to suppose this is 10 and y equals to this is decreasing, this is suppose 5. So you will see in this case, value of y is decreasing, value of x is increasing and there is downward sloping data. So that's why we can say there is negative correlation. There is negative correlation. Now in this case, this is reversed as there is increasing pattern or we can say the direction is upward. So we can say there is positive type of correlation. Now in third case, you will see uh, there is kind of confusion. We can't identify positive direction. This means downward sloping or upward sloping for positive correlation. So as we are confused, this is positive or negative. This means there is no correlation because we can't identify positive or negative. So this is no correlation. Now from this method, we will see a scatter diagram gives only direction. This gives only direction. And other methods, other these three methods gives direction and strength of relationship. Direction and strength. Direction means positive or negative. Strength means just like in your class, some classmates are your just uh, your close friends and some classmates are just friend. So relationship with close friend is good. This is plus one we can say. And who are just friend relationship with them is maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.4. So this is not a good relationship. So this is what this is a strength of relationship. So from these three methods, we will find direction as well as strength and from a scatter diagram, we will see only direction. So I hope you understand this concept. Now in next lecture, I will explain concept of Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation. So please like this video and subscribe my channel, Ganit Coach.